Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary, Amber here. And today we're looking at Matthew 24, starting in verse three. It says, as he, Jesus, sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately saying, tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? And Jesus answered them, see that no one leads you astray for many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ and they will lead many astray. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not alarmed for this must take place, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these things are but the beginning of the birth pains. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and put you to death. And you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will fall away and betray one another and hate one another. And many false prophets will rise and lead many astray. And because lawlessness will be increased, the love of many will grow cold but the one who endures to the end will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. See, before Jesus even died and rose again, people were asking when the end of time is gonna happen and how it's going to take place. And typically there's so much arguing and fighting over the end times discussion of, when it will happen and how the details are gonna play itself out. Um, and so we're not gonna talk about that stuff today. Um, if you are interested in my opinion, you can ask me in person when you see me, but that's not what we're, we're gonna talk about because those things are all secondary issues to what Jesus is actually talking about. And we don't need to be divisive over those types of things. And so we're gonna talk about today what Jesus talked about. And so the first thing that we need to know is that we don't have to live in fear or worry about the end of times. See. Jesus came to give us freedom and to give us peace and to give us his victory and hope that he accomplished on the cross and when he rose from the grave. And so we know that we have victory in Jesus. We have the hope of spending eternity with Jesus in perfection with him in his glory and in his presence. So we don't have to live in fear. We don't have to worry. And so with the discussion of end times, there is typically so much fear involved. And we need to remind ourselves that fear is not from God. And so if you are getting worried about things that are happening in the news or discussions people are having and are filled with fear, no, that is not from God and that is not what he wants. He wants us to live a hope-filled life, living in his victory and freedom from sin and fear and death and sharing his hope with the world. And so, we don't have to be anxious about those things. We can live in the peace of Christ that he has given us. And so what did Jesus say? Jesus said, you will hear of wars. You will hear of rumors of wars, but this isn't the end. See, there has always been conflict. Since Adam and Eve sinned, there has been conflict and fighting and wars because we live in a sin-filled world. We live in a broken world, which is the exact reason why Jesus came to redeem us from our sin and mistakes and give us that freedom and give us hope and peace in the midst of our brokenness. And so we can hear about that stuff and not be overwhelmed with worry or anxiousness or fear because we know that God is in control. He knows the end and we know he is victorious and he has given us that victory. See, every generation since Jesus came has thought that Jesus was coming in their time the disciples thought it. All of the New Testament church thought Jesus was coming. Some of them thought that they had already missed it, but they hadn't. I'm pretty sure that the Christians during Nero's time, when he was persecuting Christians and staking them and burning them alive and using them as torches for his roads, I'm pretty sure they thought it was the end at, during their time. I'm pretty sure that Christians and people living through World War II and the Holocaust thought that Jesus was gonna come during their time. And now you hear of things happening all around the world, but we don't have to live in fear and we don't have to be afraid. Every day that we are alive is a day closer to when Jesus is gonna come, but we don't know when that time is going to be. And so what do we do while we wait? What do we do in the midst of the waiting for Jesus to come again? Um, and this is what Jesus said. 
He said, there will be tribulation and there will be persecution. And so we endure. We endure through difficult times. We endure through the painful, hard seasons of life, knowing that we have the hope of Jesus. And so endure well, knowing that Jesus is your strength. He is your perfect perfecter, your defender, your strength for this life and the one to come. He also said that the love of people will grow cold because of the difficult things in this life. And so we need to love Jesus. Love Jesus with all of your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love Jesus with everything that you have and surrender every aspect of your life to him and love people and care about them and serve him. So love Jesus. And then he said, the end will come when the gospel is preached to the entire world. If you have a relationship with Jesus, then you have the hope of Jesus. And as his children, we are called to share that hope of Jesus with a world that has no hope. You can see it all around as people are hopeless with addiction and depression and suicide. The world is crying out. They need the hope of Jesus. And if we are his followers, we have that hope we can share with them. And so share the hope that you have with those you know. Share the love of Jesus with those you know. So while we wait for Jesus to come, and we don't know when that's going to happen, so you don't even need to try and figure it out, endure well, love Jesus, and share the gospel with those that you know. And so today, live in the freedom that Jesus has given you and live with his peace and hope. Have a great day.